Hi friends, today we'll be adding a score UI whenever we kill our zombies. Before we continue, the first Patreon asset drop is live. It was three low police swords, so for a dollar if you want this asset pack and then a new one uh, next month, go check it out. This will be very simple, so you just need a text that we can update each time a zombie dies. So let me just hide my pause canvas right here. And on our hot canvas, I was thinking on the top here, we add something like that. So under HUD, I'll just add a new UI image that I'll call score. And then I'll parent it here. Click this pivoting thing, hold alt and click the top. And then you can set this to maybe minus 100 on the Y axis. And we'll change the width to about 200 and maybe 300. And then we'll go score UI text just like that. And this will be score amount. And what you can do now is again, click the pivoting thing on the text, hold alt and click the most bottom right thing. So it stretches it. Now you can see that. Oh, my bad. You can see the text is now all the way across. And I can just change this to about zero, zero, zero. Set this to best fit. And then this middle one and middle one. So it's nicely in the center of the screen. Maybe best fit uh, under the settings. Maybe change the max size to about 100. So it can scale with the screen. And you can go to the score image and set the color here to zero. And I'll change the text color to white. I also want to set this to a vertical overflow. So now once we type, it can go to infinity, just like that. I doubt you're going to get that far, but we still have that option. Let's implement this in our player HUD script. So open that up. At the top, we'll add a new uh, reference here. It will be serialized field private. And it will just be a text. Make sure you have Unity Engine UI included. And I'll call it score amount. Just like that. And here I'll create a new function public void update score amount. Just like this. I don't want to do the code for the score UI here. So I'm going to create a new uh, kind of script that we will then reference in here. So in the scripts UI folder, I'll create a new C sharp script called score tracker or score. I'll just name it score. And open that up. And in here we'll need, uh, we'll need that score text variable. So serialized field private text score text and again you gotta include unity engine.ui just like that so now we can create a function it will be a public void add to score and then the amount we want to add uh, we'll probably make that into a variable, but probably like a public variable here so that you can change it anytime you want. So it'll be public um, int score amount on kill or something like that. So how much score you get every time you get a kill. And whenever we add to score, we'll also need a int to track the actual score. So it'll be public int current score and let me just create a private void init variables this is so whenever we run our scene we want to reset the current score so the current score will be equal to zero and we need to call that in our private void start 
So now whenever we replay the game, it will reset the score. And then whenever we add the score, I'm going to say current score plus equals score amount and kill. And I also want to go score text dot text is equal to current score dot to string because currently it's an int and we need a character list that we can you know put in a string so this way we can update our score in our player HUD uh, my bad I set this to be text this should be score score amount just like that and then we need to you know we'll need to assign it in the editor so whenever we update score amount, what we can say is score. I should probably rename to rename that just to score UI. So we can say score UI dot add to score. Just so it's easier for us to get from the player and we don't have to get it from the HUD. I'm really sorry about all the noises. There's some construction outside and I really wanted to make a video. So under player in the player HUD, under score UI, we can just drag our score. Well, we can't yet. We need to attach the score script to the score object. And then we need to give it the score amount right here. Score amount on kill will be 10. And current score we don't have to touch. And now on our player we can drag in the score object. Just like that. Right, but currently this code is not triggering. We want to trigger it every time we get a kill. And that we can do from our zombie script. So if you go to our prefabs, enemies, and under our zombie, we have zombie stats, which include the is dead uh, function or die function. You can see that. So whenever we die, we destroy the game object. But we also want to update the, the, thing, the, the score. But for that, we would need a reference to the player. And I found that the easiest way to do this is to just create a singleton. There's much better ways to do it using events, but to keep it simple, we'll use a singleton. So on player HUD up here, above everything, we're gonna create a private, or sorry, we're create a public static player HUD. HUD, that's equal to null. And then under that, we'll say private void awake we'll check if HUD is equal to null. So if it's not set yet, we'll set HUD equal to this. And now we have a static or a singleton that we can get in the zombie script. Actually, this should probably not be called HUD. It should just be called instance. And just swap that out here to instance. Now in the zombie stats, we can say player HUD dot instance dot update health or sorry not update health update, update score or what's called update score amount just like that and now whenever a zombie dies it should get that correctly let's go back and check if this works click play and we'll just use our knife here where are the zombies Oh, there it goes. It works. And now we can kill zombies. And we should probably go under score and then score text. And set this just to nothing so it doesn't show up before you kill anything. That's it for today. Hopefully you learned something new. Thank you for watching. Okay now, bye bye.